and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jessie. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Guys, I'm back. I took a break. I wasn't sure I was going to come back, but uh, guys, I kind of missed it. <laughs> I kind of got burnt out there for a while. I wasn't sure this is what I wanted to do. I always said if it wasn't fun anymore that I wasn't going to film. Um, but I really missed it and I want to get back into it. Uh, it's probably not going to be the same schedule that I had beforehand with, uh, the, you know, the taste test Tuesdays, grocery haul, what's for dinner. There might be some weeks where you guys might get one video. There might be some weeks you get a few videos and there might be some weeks where I don't post at all just because I want to take that time for myself. Um, or I might not have anything to film and I don't want to push myself to film because I don't want to get burned out again because I miss this guys. I miss talking to you guys. I miss the friendship. I'm really sorry that I kind of left you guys, you know, hanging. <laughs> I didn't, you know, tell you guys what's going on. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a life update. We've had so much going on in the last month to start off with. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, shortly after the last time I posted a video, our, um, sub pump failed and it flooded our basement. The one whole half of the basement was flooded. And so we had somebody come out and they looked at it. Apparently the water heater was put in, or the sub pump was put in completely wrong. There was like radiator hose and all sorts of, not put in right at all. So we had, um, that guy fixed that and he put in like a battery backup one. But we also had to call in like a restoration guy. Um, and so he had set up, um, fans to dry the basement. <laughs> and so that night, the first night he had set them up, uh, actually one of his fans ended up almost causing an electric fire. And so he had to call the fire department at, I think it was like midnight because there was electric smoke smell and come to find out one of his fans had burned up and, uh, wasn't working, causing, almost causing electric fire. Uh, luckily it didn't affect any of our electrical stuff, but he came the next morning to like check out his fans, make sure that all the other ones were working fine and come to find out when we went down to the basement, the water heater failed and reflooded the whole spot that the sub pump had flooded. <laughs> I was about to lose my mind guys. Um, so they, we called the plumber and he came and they replaced the water heater and then we had to redry out the basement. That took another like two to three days, I think, to do that. Um, and then it came collect the fans. They haven't put in the carp or new flooring. They had a, basically the only damage we had was to the flooring and they're actually coming today to tear out the rest of the carpet. And then they're going to put in like, um, it's a, what is it? <laughs> a vinyl plank flooring. Uh, we're doing that instead of carpet. Uh, it's nicer flooring, more durable, perfect. So I'll be excited to get that in. I will show you guys some of the footage from that, um, at like before and after stuff. And, uh, also if you wait to the end, there'll be some pictures and videos of some stuff that we've done this month. And, uh, I'll put a little thing in right here. There's flooding all the way over to there. see the waters over here. You can see the damage on the carpet and then over to here. And you can even hear the squishiness all over our bathroom down here. And in the laundry room, you can see the water. It's over here. It's starting to go down a little bit because he put in a Thing to get it to drain completely full back there and then it was running into this drain over here oh guys so that's kind of what the damage looked like just thought i'd show you guys if you're curious if you don't have instagram or follow my instagram so yeah that happened and then um we actually went to iowa for a week that was so much fun it was great to get away especially with everything kind of going on um, and right before we went on vacation, Jeffrey's brakes actually, like the whole system went out on his car. Come to find out there was like a hole in it and guys, it was going to cost about basically as much as his truck was worth to fix it. So we ended up selling his, uh, truck to like an auto, what is it? Auction place. And they gave us a decent, you know, check for it. So then we ended up getting the van guys. I'm so excited. I have not had a van since my accident guys that I had an accident back. Uh, is it two years now? Three years, something like that. I'll pop a little picture up here so you can see how bad my van was after that accident. Super scary. A kid pulled out in front of me. He had a stop sign. I did not. And I tried to step on my brakes. 
couldn't stop in time, hit him. He ended up actually, his car flipped. Um, and yeah, it was really, really bad accident. But I'm so excited to be back in a van. My kids absolutely love it. They're so excited. It's a white van. Picture right here for you guys. Uh, my kids named it Blue. <laughs> Jeffrey wasn't a fan of the name. I actually, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> it's a white fan and they wanted to name it blue i think rennet was more like blues clues rowan was because of bluey on disney channel and ruxley was because uh the velociraptor in jurassic park's name is blue so <laughs> blue the van and jeffrey got um georgie georgie is the yukon that i got after my accident so he's driving that i'm driving the van fantastic um uh, but guys, I've been working so much on myself and it's been so nice. I've actually been like really focusing on working out. I have uh, been doing my 3.4 mile walk and then I come home and I lift weights or do like floor work, like abs and stuff like that. Um, Jeffrey's actually starting his weight loss journey. I'm so proud of him. He's lost, I think like five pounds now. Um, I've lost five pounds. We're feeling good, getting healthier. Um, also, gluten-free has been so great for me. Um, I've just felt so much better, so much more energetic, uh, and I got glutened on vacation. <laughs> I will tell you about that in a little bit. Um, anyway, so we went to Iowa. This is going to be a long video, um, So, but we just had so much going on in the last month. Uh, so yeah, and there's going to be a lot of us because uh, I haven't filmed in a very long time. <laughs> But uh, we went on vacation in Iowa and that was so, so much fun. We went there for about a week. Um, the first night we got in, we actually went to dinner with Jeffrey's buddy Colton. Uh, he went to high school with him. So it's super great to see him. And I'm kind of bummed his wife couldn't come. She's pregnant, super excited for them. Um, I don't know when they're expecting, I can't remember what he said, but well, like, I don't know the sex, of the baby, but I can't remember how far along she is. I don't think she was at 20 weeks yet when we were there. Um, anyway, going on too much about that. Anyways, we went to dinner with him and that's where I got gluten the first night we were back in Iowa. Fantastic. So, uh, the restaurant was super busy. We actually were going to go to Outback, but Outback said there was going to be like an hour wait. We had just drove all the way from Wisconsin. Our kids were hungry. I was not going to wait an hour. Just not going to happen. So we ended up going to Granite City. Uh, yeah, so I ordered a, bu uh, a burger and I asked them, because I said, do you have a gluten-free menu? They said they don't, but the waiter could tell me what they have that's gluten-free. They told me that they had gluten-free buns and they had gluten-free like flatbread as an option. And so I ordered a bison burger and I asked for a gluten-free bun. And when the burger came, it came with a pretzel bun, which guys, on the menu, it said that the burger came on a pretzel bun. And I said to Jeffrey, I was like, I don't think this is right. It came on a pretzel bun. Cause most restaurants, if you're gluten free, you know, when you get something, it's the same crappy Udi's bun around the board. It's usually the same bun every place you go. Um, yeah, guys, it was the pretzel bun. I was too tired to deal with it. And I was like, well, hopefully this isn't, you know, a gluten bun. Jeffrey said, no, you're good. And I ate it and I regretted it because I was up from three o'clock in the morning to like eight o'clock on the toilet. It was so horrible. <laughs> I even took some Imodium. TMI did not help. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. I felt horrible. Um, but once I got it out of my system, I felt so much better. And I had a haircut with my friend <laughs> at like nine o'clock, 10 o'clock the next or that morning. So that was so fantastic. Luckily, I was feeling a lot better by the time I went to get my hair done. But she did such a good job. If you are ever in the Hiawatha area, check out Moxie Salon. My friend Amanda, Amanda V. Um, I don't want to give out her. Well, I guess I could give out her last name. But it's really hard to say. Sorry, I'm not very good with it. And I don't want to butcher your last name. Anyways, ask for Amanda V. She is fantastic. Um, yeah, guys, she made it super red. It's, uh, I just took a shower. I had been working out and I went on my walk and then I uh, put some grass seed out. I kind of will show you some footage at the end of this of some uh, stuff that I did to the yard. But yeah, so I took a shower, but you can't see all of it, but you can kind of see the red, I guess. Yeah, cut short. I'm probably going to grow it back out though. I like it being short, but I it's some close to summertime and I love putting it up in a ponytail. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I might keep it short. Who knows? 
I'm always indecisive. So the first night we went back, like I said, we went to dinner with his friend Colton. And then the next day in the morning, I went and got my hair done. And then after that, we went to lunch with my friend. We went to Applebee's. Yes, that was good. I haven't been there in a super long time. And so it was just fun to get to spend some time with her. Uh, one of the reasons for our trip back is that we got our will done and we also got our power of attorney done. And so we needed our family members and friends that are on those to sign those papers while we were back in town. Um, cause it's just easier than mailing it to one person and getting it back, mailing it to the other person. Um, so, uh, Amanda is one of the people on my power of attorney, so she needed to sign it. Um, and then I'm trying to remember what we did that night. That night we went to dinner with Jeffrey's brother, Jonathan and his wife, Lori, and they're expecting they're due in July. I'm so excited. So many babies. <laughs> it makes me want more, but we're done. Um, super excited for them. Uh, can't wait to see if it's a little guy, a little girl. So excited. I don't think they're finding out. Um, but yeah, we had dinner with them. That was super fun. And then the next day we ended up going to the zoo, the zoo. We went to the zoo in Des Moines, the blank park zoo. And the kids had so much fun with that. Uh, that was not planned very well though because they said the weather was going to be warm and then ended up being super cold so we had to get all the kids sweatshirts uh but that's cool you know they have a little memento from the zoo trip and they got some toys from there as well um but we went to the blank park zoo that was super fun i'll like i said if you wait to the end or you want to skip to the end because i'm rambling on too much there will be pictures and little clips of videos of our trip and all sorts of things um but yeah, we went to the zoo and then we went to the mall. Yes, the mall. And we, uh, the, is it the Jordan? Yeah, Jordan Creek Mall. I went to the Cheesecake Factory for lunch. Guys, that was so good. I got like a pan seared, like half chicken situation with mashed potatoes. That was phenomenal. And then they had gluten free cheesecake. It was good to have a chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> I haven't had like good cheesecake in a long time. That was so good. Um, and we took the kids to build a bear while we were at the mall. That was super fun. Uh, Rex got a Pikachu. Runny picked out Sky from Paw Patrol. And Rowan picked out a unicorn. Um, so that was super fun to take them there, get them to do that. And then after that, we went to the museum. Went to the museum, the science center, I think is what they call it. Um, and the kids had a lot of fun playing there. They have like a Lego thing. They have like some like space stuff. They've got like a, a bubble area and uh, like a little grocery, like fake grocery area the kids can play at and all sorts of fun stuff there. Um, and then after that, guys, the most exciting part of this trip, and I'm going to go over some, because I've been doing so much stuff and so much like uh, focusing on myself lately. Uh, I actually have read almost four books this month. The month before that I read, I think it was two books. Um, but one of the books that I read, The Bridges of Madison County by Robert James Waller. If you've never read this book, you should. It's fantastic. Um, it's actually based in Iowa. Um, guys, Winterset, Iowa. So good. Romance book. Absolutely love it. Um, but there is actually the, like, covered bridges. And, um, when we're back, I told Jeffrey, I was like, I really, really, really would love to see that. My mom, she had watched the movie and read the book. And that was one thing she always kind of wanted to see and she never got to see it. Um, my mom, if you don't know, my mom had passed away back in 2013. And uh, after reading the book, I was really inspired and I really wanted to go visit the bridge and we did it. <laughs> I was so excited. I, like I said, pictures and videos at the end, stick around. Uh, I'll show you pictures and video from the bridge. Guys, it was so beautiful and just like, you can just like imagine, I'm not sure if the book is, uh, based on, I think it is based on a true story. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it is though. Um, but it's super good book, super good love story. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're checking out. So we did that and then we went back home, well back to the hotel 
And then the next day we went to the Amiana Colonies in Amiana, Iowa. If you've never been there, it's just this fun little um, German town. I think it used to be like Mennonite. I don't think it, it's not Mennonite anymore. But it's this cute little colonial town that you can walk around and they have all different little shops. Uh, they have like a popcorn shop and there's ice cream and fudge shops and leather shops and where you can find like buy like leather purses. There's antique shops. There's a woolen mill. Um, there's the, they make a beer and like root beer. Guys, they're root beer. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, so we walked around there, did some things, we went to the Oxyoke Inn and had like a German lunch. Uh, it was a little bit of a letdown just because uh, I'm gluten free now and there's not many options in that that I can have. Um, so my dinner wasn't really, my lunch wasn't as great as everybody else looked, but it was super good. And then after that, we were supposed to um, see my brother, but my brother wasn't feeling well. Um, so we ended up uh, I can't remember what day that was. Was it that day? I think we we're supposed to meet him, but we, uh, I don't know. It's already brain fog. <laughs> I already can't remember. I think we we're supposed to meet my brother that day. Um, but I can't remember. He wasn't feeling, or was it the day before? I don't know. He wasn't feeling well. I think it was the day before we we're supposed to see him that night. He wasn't feeling well. So that next day when we got back, we ended up, um, just driving to his house and his birthday is in April. So I, uh, there's a beer up here that you can only get in Wisconsin. It's called Spotted Cow. He cannot get that in Iowa. It's one of his favorite beers. So I was a good sister and I brought him some beer for his birthday. I dropped it off on his doorstep and a graduation card for my nephew who is graduating this year, Jackson. So super proud of him. Um, so yeah, we dropped that stuff off and then we ended up having dinner with Jeffrey's dad and his stepmom, Tanya, and his sister, Taylor. And then we went back to the hotel, we rested up. The next morning we drove to Grafton and we saw my dad and my grandma and um, my dad's girlfriend, Lana. Guys, uh, so that was super fun, it was so nice. Lana and my dad, uh, they're so sweet. They did like a little Easter egg hunt for the kids. They absolutely had a blast doing that. I think I have some pictures and some footage of that. I'll put it in here. And then they got them some Easter baskets. Um, after that, we ended up driving all the way back here. It was a long trip. I was exhausted after, but it was so much fun. Um, and then when we got back, uh, we dealt with the car situation. We sold Jeffrey's car. Man, I'm trying to think. There, guys, there's literally been so much going on. Uh, Rex was supposed to be done. He was supposed to be done with school in like the beginning of June, but now they switched it to May 28th. So that's going to be coming up pretty fast. I'm trying to think what else. I've really just been focusing. Ooh. I've really just been focusing on myself and like I said, I've been exercising. Oh, I did a bunch of yard work while Jeffrey, because Jeffrey had a like a full week of a little over a week of vacation. And so we did yard work. Uh I ripped out like and I'll show you some of that at the end too. I completely ripped out all the I don't know, are they called like garden box? I don't think not garden boxes, like the front little area. There's like brick. I completely ripped out all the dirt and weeds and the mulch that they had there. I haven't done anything to that for the like two years we've lived here. Um, but I finally ripped all that out. I put down new mulch. It looks so good. That took me two days, a bunch of dirt ripped out. Guys, it was, it was a chore. <laughs> Took me way longer than I thought it would. Uh, we also painted the room. I don't know. I think I've done one video. Maybe oh, I've done a few in my room. Um, we went blue. It was brown before. And yeah, I told Jeffrey one thing I want to do is paint the room a color that's going to make me happy. And it's a super pretty color. We got it at Menards. Uh, I'll put on the screen right here what color it is. If you're curious and you want to check it out or you want to paint your room that color. We actually painted the ceiling the same color. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I was kind of nervous about doing it here. I'll go ahead and show you guys. It looks super good though. I know some people would be like, oh, why would you do that resale value? But uh, we're going to be here a while, especially uh, we had talked previously about moving back to Iowa. But after our trip there, we're like, there's so much more here and we just feel the roots here. It's great to go back to visit, but we absolutely love living here. Um, 
like I said, I, uh, I've been reading a ton of books. Um, one of my goals for the year is to read a book a month. Uh, this month I've read four, almost four. Um, the first month I read Life is Short by Jennifer Arnold. This book was really good to read. It wasn't my favorite, but it was really good. And then the next month I read Think Big, same Jennifer Arnold and Bill Klein. And then the book I read after that was Bridges of Madison County. Guys, I read this in like mm, two days. <laughs> it was so good. I could not put it down. I absolutely love it. Um, he has other books too. Uh, and I'll get into that here in a second. And then I read Knights of Rodanthe by Nicholas Sparks. This is really good. And it's a movie. Um, I read that pretty fast too. <laughs> read them all fast. And then... Um, when I was looking up to see if he had any other books he'd written, I saw that he had this one. It is called A Thousand Country Roads, which basically this one goes into, um, it's the epilogue to this book. Basically it goes into like kind of what happens after because the book kind of just ends and you're left wondering what happens. This goes more into depth of what happens to both of the characters after the book ends. So it's really good. Um, and then guys, this book I read super fast too. Um, this is an author that I've loved ever since I was a teen and I still love her books. They're absolutely great. Sarah Dessen, um, once and for all, I actually was like laughing out loud while reading this book. Jeffrey was giggling at me. Um, but yeah, this one is super good. I think you can find some of her books at Walmart. I actually just ordered, um, we had just ordered one of her other books because this, at the, one thing I love at the end of her books is that she has like a chapter of like the next book. So like the next one is The Truth About Forever. And I ordered that one. I just got it. I haven't started reading it yet because I'm reading a different book, which I'll show you here in a second. But those are all her books. And then when I was at Walmart, I seen they had um, two of the books in one book. Um, so I'll be reading those soon too. And then the current book I am reading right now is What We Find by Robin Carr. It's a little bit different than like a read that I would normally read. But it kind of reminds me of The Bridges of Madison County. Just kind of like a romance novel um, kind of thing. I don't know. I've been into romance novels, guys. But it hasn't gotten romantic yet. <laughs> so, super good. Uh, it's just been nice to read. And then, oh, guys, uh, let me, hold on. Word hunts. I've been absolutely, like, word puzzle thing, like these. Cross, not crossword. Anyways, the word puzzle kind of things. Absolutely have been loving doing those. Um... I've been back to the um, only doing social media twice a day thing. It's been so great on my mental health. Um, just taking a break from all of it, focusing on myself, focusing on my family, focusing on getting things done. Guys, I've been caught up on laundry for a week now, and I don't think that's ever happened. Like, I've been trying to do at least a load a day, or sometimes it ends up being two loads a day, depending on how much laundry we had the day before. I tend to take showers daily, um, just because I've been working out so much. So, yeah, I've been doing that, keeping the house clean, uh, painting, <laughs> taking care of the yard. Um, I, I got some new stickers. I'm going to show you guys. And like I said, it's been forever since I've talked to you guys. Um, I've been working on my planner, which is this guy right here. I also have a new planner because um, this one is set to not be good anymore um it only goes through june so i went ahead and grabbed this blue sky planner and this is from july 2021 to june 22 so look at look, is that not pretty and then it has like uh i like how it has a yearly goal thing on the front too but so it has like the normal like monthly kind of situation and then it has the weekly which I absolutely love and then I can show you like a page of mine now so here I'll show you this 
this one. There's less information on it. So this is kind of like my monthly layout situation. I always put like a to-do at the beginning. So like there's a to-do right there and then like my weight and then also I put my book of the month, which right now I have four. Um, and then, let me see if I can find one that doesn't really have, I think I have bills every week. Here, I'll just go like that so you don't, whoop. No, maybe, there we go. So I always put like a to-do at the beginning of every week too, and then I work on it throughout the week. But yeah, my little planner. Um, it's just nice, keeps me organized and on plan because especially, Pretty soon here, I'm going to be super busy because Rowan's going to be doing dance two nights a week. Ruxley wants to get into something, so I think we're going to try getting him in, in, into karate. Uh, we're going to see if he likes it, do like a little test of it first. Um, anyways, yeah, so I got some stickers. I bought them at Michael's. Uh, go check out Michael's. They have some awesome stuff. These stickers were 99 cents. How cute are those for the summer? So cute. I grabbed two of those because... Uh, yeah, I'm going to use them next year too. 99 cents. That's a good sale. Just saying. I bought two of these guys. Look at that. How cute is that for summer? And then these cute little like butterflies and flowers. So usually I'll pull these out too. I have so many stickers, guys. I'm a sticker holic. Jeffrey laughs at me about my stickers. I literally have too many. I wasn't planning on showing you guys all of these, but it's happening. <laughs> all right. So I usually go with these happy planner ones. Um, these are like $19.99 for one, right? Super expensive. And I don't always like all the stickers in them. I found these other brands. There's a few, I think there's, um, one is Chrissy Ann, one is Recollections, and the other is Planners Anonymous by Parcraft Smith. These are $9.99, so half the price of these guys. Um, there are some more stickers. Oh no, this one's like 496 stickers and this one's 815. This would still cost you $20. This one is 9.99 guys, I'm telling you. Um, but I have this cute one from Happy Planner. It's uh, Happy Quotes, absolutely love it. They're super cute stickers in this one. Um, that's just a few. I ordered these offline because eventually I'm going to run out from the ones I have. But these are trash can and recycling ones. Small trash logos. Ah, uh, the brand. I don't think it has a brand on here. Plan with Stormy. Stormy Creations. No, Stormy Creatives. Those are super cute. And then this one is, oh, I don't know if I have the name on it. Myriad Mom Planner Stickers. These are super cute. They've got all sorts of things. And then there's great, because it's got practice stickers. It's got school stickers for like, you know, if you're a mom, got kids. They've got those kind of stickers. I'm boring you guys with stickers now, but that's okay because it's my channel and, uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to be me. They've got all these with like, you know, and these are cool too because like if you're um like a divorced parent, which I'm not, but if you are a divorced parent, it has like mom's weekend, dad's weekend. I think that's great that they're like inclusive that way because there are a lot of families that are, you know, split up. And then they've got like these ones. Yeah, tons of cute stickers, guys. Um, and then this essential planning one, I found this at Walmart, um, 
The other ones, I've gotten a few of the Happy Planner ones from Walmart, which Walmart lately hasn't had a lot of them, but Michael's, I know they have quite a few, but I absolutely love this essential planning one, um, just because a lot of the stickers in here is stuff that I would use. Um, they've got like date night, mani pedi, um, chores, laundry. As you can see, I've used some of those. Clean house, shopping, grocery shopping. Um, where I have some of those already on stickers, like other stickers. Uh, I'm using those up first and then I'll use these. Like pay bill. How neat is that? You know, important. Family night, you know. So they have the to-dos in here too, which I absolutely love. Um, let's see. To do's. I like to do lists because I make lists for everything. So I actually got two of these from Walmart. Uh, I think at Walmart it was $14.99. Michael's expensive, $20. And then this is one I've had for years. It's the seasonal one. I don't think there's barely any stickers left in that guy. I got the color story one. This one's super cute. Um, I've already used quite a few of the stickers out of here. Um, and then Happy Year. This one is like different seasons. I've used some of them. Uh, I still have some. I used a lot of the spring ones recently. And then there's summer ones in here too. Uh, Happy Planner right now has summer, fall, winter, and spring all like in one book. Like they have separate books instead of like how this is like happy year, like where all the seasons are in one book this year, they have them where they're in separate books. Um, that's something, you know, if you're a planner, I'm a planner. This one's the mom planner. It has like school stickers, um, like pick up medicine, workout, bill pay, game day, um, some meal, like barely any meal planning ones. And then I have the spring one. This is what the spring one looks like. Spring's almost over. We're almost into summer. But if you want to get it for next year, I know they still have them out. They're super cute. I've used a lot of the stickers out there. It's so not much to really show you guys. But these ones, like I was saying, $9.99. Super cute. And if you're not into, like, I'm not into Halloween. I just, like, kind of, like, fall theme stuff. And this one doesn't really have a ton of Halloween stuff. But super cute. Yeah, so there's that one. And then I got this one. It's like blooms. I thought that would be really pretty for summer. Like all the flowers. There's some gardening stuff. Look at that, guy. Super cute. This one's Blossom and Bloom. This one is Recollections. The other one was the Bipar Craft Smith. Yeah. And then there's, ooh. And then there's this one. Look at that cute stuff guys uh this stuff makes me happy i don't know you know just one of those things do what makes you happy there is not much that i spend money on in my life and uh stickers is one of them because my planner keeps my life organized it makes me happy uh this one's super cute this one has seasonal stuff too it's got like christmas fall spring summer all that anyways guys talk 20 minutes about stickers have an obsession it's okay but yeah I've been just really staying focused on uh, being intentional with my time which is something I always struggle with and uh, I gotta get out of the all or nothing thinking guys you know there's there's just so much more I don't know I just gotta get out of my own head But as you can see, I have been super busy these last, this last month. I don't know why I was going to say the last few months. It's felt like a few months off, but I'm super glad to be back. And like I said, things are not going to be necessarily exactly the same as they were. Not saying I'm never going to do a taste test Tuesday or a grocery haul or any of those. I will for sure probably do them. Um, it's just not going to be all the time. And my content might be just this, me sitting, talking to you guys, having a fun time, you getting to know me, us chatting down in the comments. Absolutely love that. Absolutely miss talking to you guys. And thank you to the people that reached out to me that were worried because I was gone and checking in on me. I really appreciate it. It was very kind of you. Um, but yeah, I am doing great. Kids are doing great. Like I said, Ruxley's almost done with school for the year. And then we're going to get busy with like other activities like dance and all that stuff. So 
yep, I'm super busy. Anyways, guys, stay tuned because at the end of this, you're going to see all the pictures and video clips that I said that I would include. Guys, this video is probably going to be pretty long. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for your continued support and staying with me and um, continuing to stay with me, even though my channel might see some changes. Um, that's me. That's why I called it the hodgepodge life of Jess, because I didn't want to be stuck on one thing. I just want to be raw or organic with you guys. You'll probably notice that uh, there'll be a little different style to my videos. There probably won't be any music. There'll probably just be times like this sort of just sit and talk to you guys and uh, probably not as much editing so yeah just gonna be like I said more raw and organic Jesse. but I thank you guys for staying with and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for coming along with me today I hope you guys enjoyed please give this video a big thumbs up and press that like button Subscribe to my channel, click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. So, I completely redid this. This was, like, completely full of weeds and dirt and old mulch, and I ripped all of that out, um, and then we put red mulch down. It looks so pretty along the white of the house. And then I did the same thing over here. And then here they had like the bricks coming this way. So it kind of looked like the state of Florida. It was pretty ugly. I wasn't a big fan of it. So I just went ahead and like redid them in a straight line. So that was a bunch of stuff I worked on. And then over here, there was a bunch of bushes like right here, but we ripped all of those out and then just went ahead and put mulch here. Uh, we'll probably do something We'll probably do something soon with all this, maybe next year. Um, but for right now, we're just doing that. And then over here, this is kind of <laughs> this is kind of like what the other part looked like, guys. It was really overgrown with weeds and all of that. And so I am going to work on this soon. I just don't have time right now to do it. Uh, but yeah, we ripped all, we're going to rip all this out. And uh, I think we're just going to keep like the dirt and then we're going to plant like a bunch of flowers. I think that'll be really pretty. And then right here, we got this guy from Menards. I don't know if there's any birdies in here yet. Got like this cute little birdhouse. Oh, Nothing's in there. Anyway, hi to the people. Hi. Oh, the dog's up there with you. <laughs> <laughs> I see him sniffing. out in a minute. This was fun. Yeah, you like the bridge? Yes, I love this. Mimi, I love it. I love the book. Maybe we could do it. Do it without us. Daddy! Bunch.
Hold on now. Oh, one at a time, Roxy. Ready? Uh oh. Timber! Put it all away. You're fast. Yeah. What if you pushed your cart over there? Yeah. Oh, careful. I left some fish from the floor. You having so much fun?
Good job. That was a tough one too, wasn't it? Ready here. I'll hold Sky. Oh. <laughs> I heard on.